song's called Chewina Blues. Chewina Blues, Chewina Blues, they're the blues that you can't lose. You must start at Limestone Bridge, but you will end up in Box Ridge. You might go to Parson's Stall, they got groceries galore. They got petrol, ice and drinks, but I don't go cause the service stinks. I grew up in China when I was a kitty. Never Sat in Nana's lap till I was five, eating Kit Kats and watching Days of Our Lives. Dad was always down doing some sharing. Mum was doing most of the child rearing. <clears throat> One day when I was just a little lad, Mum said, why don't you go to work with Dad? It was pretty handy when I was in the shed when I was three. Anyway, Dad was there ripping through a pen or two. Didn't know how to tell him that I needed a poo. So I shit myself behind the shed. Dad comes round and says, oh, fuck me, Dad. He had the Chewina Blues, Chewina Blues. They're the blues that you can't lose. Your son shits himself behind the shed Just walk around and say, fuck me dead <clears throat> Another time there, we were out of clouds Mustering sheep for hours and hours I said, hey mum, look over there, those two dogs are tangled up She said, don't be silly Mickey, those two dogs are having a fuck So then it was time to go to school. So I went up here to join a public school. And as you can imagine, that was pretty cool. I don't know if we learned all that much, but we had a lot of fun at recess and lunch. It was very successful at being unstressful. For me, further study never really beckoned. In the class of two, it was always coming second. Mum was a bit worried that we were a bit thick, so. Mum comes up at school trying to teach us fractions. Didn't get all that good reaction. Nine tenths of the class didn't understand, and the remaining four tenths were just really confused. We had the Joanna Blues, Joanna Blues. They're the blues that you can't lose. <clears throat> if your son is thick as two planks, you can just hope that he shouldn't blink. Another time at school, we were doing some high jump. My brother Aaron did one, landed with a big thump. Landed head first on the ground. Sort of started rolling round and round. Teacher said, you better go lie down. So, about half an hour passed. We we're all sitting up there in class. Suddenly at the door, Aaron appears and goes, what's going on here? Everyone in the class is just deathly silent. Aaron's standing there looking really violent. He's walking around all aggravated. Didn't like the way the blackboard was dated. Had a couple of months there he couldn't remember. Thought it was June, but it was September. So around the room, Aaron goes flying. All the kids there start crying. The teacher wanted to do something, but she daren't. So she went in the room, tried to call his parents. Aaron's there, being real menacing. Mum's in town, Thursday tennising. Aaron's over here acting like a zombie. Dad was down sharing at the Abercrombie. <coughs> Typical. Anyway, a couple of blokes came round and they subdued him. Looking pretty bad, thought they were going to have to shoot him. And off to the hospital, they went rushing. Diagnosed him with a mild concussion. He had the Chewina Blues, Chewina Blues, they're the blues that you can't lose. The Chewina Blues, Chewina Blues, they're the blues that you can't remember. So then it was time to go to high school. I went in there the first few years, I'm sure a few funny things happened, but none of them rhymed. You're fucking joking. Anyway, part two's coming up next. Chewina Blues part two. So later on there in high school, met a pretty girl, she was delightful. Quite bright, very insightful. 
figured out all the things that were wrong with me and told me about them. Then I formed a band with my uncle and cousins. The whole district was really buzzing. We toured around seeking fame and glory. Was it just like a Cinderella story? I don't know if we'll ever do it again. But this one time we played with Lee Kernigan. Standing up there in front of thousands of fans, Bryce couldn't put up his keyboard stand. He's wrestling around, starts yelping. Eventually one of Lee's crew comes over and helps him. And we thought it was just an embarrassing fact. They thought it was all part of the act. <clears throat> we had the Joanna Blues, Joanna Blues. They're the blues that you can't lose. Lee's crew didn't understand The Bryce just couldn't put up the keyboard stand Then it was time to go to uni To get a bit of further education into me and I met a Muslim woman over there at uni She wasn't a Shiite, she was a Sunni and I must admit she wasn't the leanest When it came to food she was an extremist Now I should mention also that she was my tutor And I really shouldn't have been trying to root her asked her for a look under a veil. She said, no thanks, and by the way, you failed. Then I met a rich girl by the name of Mona. Told her I was a big landowner. Pretty impressive. She drove a Mercedes and was from a good family. I was from this lot and drove a Camry. Anyway, she still liked me. But she hit the wedding plans with a couple of missiles. When she come home here, saw all we were growing was thistles. Then I had the Chewina Blues, the Chewina Blues, they're the blues that you can't lose. So I was over in Canberra there and everyone's just mad about sex. So we thought we'd have a closer look and went to Club X. The only club I'd ever been to with the letters in its name was the Crookal RSL and this just wasn't the same. I had one thing in common though, Kevin Lang was there. We all have the Chewina Blues, the Chewina Blues They're the blues that you can't lose You might start at the swinging bridge But you will end up at Box Ridge You might go to the Goldfields Inn Hopefully get a taste of sin You might go to Parsons Store They got groceries galore you might start at Limestone Bridge, but you will end up in Box Ridge. Thank you very much.